Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising with a tutorial on how to work with the green screen. As you can see on my timeline, I've already taken a photograph from my browser and I've inserted it onto my timeline. And so what I'm going to do now is take, I just did a real quick um, videotaping of one of my daughter's little bunnies, uh, her stuffed animals because she's a little kid. And I'm going to oh, take that uh, clip and I'm going to put it on my timeline on track 2 above my photograph. I'll adjust the length of my photograph to match up with the length of my video clip. And I'm going to have to render because I'm working on a very slow computer and if I don't render during the tutorial then my computer is going to crash. So give me a second. So you'll notice that my bunny is sideways so I'm going to have to double click on my movie clip on my timeline to bring up the image and wireframe. And then I'm going to have to rotate my bunny let's say to make her... I don't really need to rotate her. I guess I... let's see could I... Uh, I could rotate her and I could make her uh, vertical or I could just leave her kind of sideways or even on an angle so let me take her at least and resize her because she's way too big for the picture so I want to scale her that's that's where I'm gonna start just kind of setting up my picture I could also leave my picture bigger just to be able to green screen it uh, using the chroma key filter and then I could turn around and I could resize it after I'll leave it this big for now and I'll resize it Another thing I want to do is I want to crop off the edges here and here because as I was videotaping with a little flip camera I had the bunny laying on a piece of construction paper on the floor so I want to get that floor out of the background of the picture so with the picture selected I'll go into the motion tab of the viewer I'll go into crop and I'll play with uh, my crop choices to crop out the parts of the picture that I don't need so notice that I'm going with the left and right sides of the picture so that's good enough for now. Let me go back to video. All right, notice um, I have the colored lines again on my timeline. I'm going to render again. And once again, that's so that as I do the video, it doesn't um, uh, freeze up on me. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go into the um, effects tab in the browser, and I want to go into video filters, and I want to choose the filter for chroma key. So effects tab, video filters, scroll down until you find uh, key and once you find key go into chroma key drag and drop it onto your green screen clip on track 2 I'll close out of this to make my screen neat double click on the clip and you'll notice up here in your viewer the chroma key uh, tab comes on the screen so first place you might want to start when you want to key out the green in the background is you might want to take the dry eyedropper tool and select a portion of green and that tells Final Cut that's the color green you want to get rid of. Another thing you could do to start is you could hold down the shift key, click on the eyedropper and choose drop again. That's a place that uh, when you have a better green screen than I do, that's a place that you might want to start. I have a bad green screen, I had no lighting, it was something I dropped on the floor and just videotape. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to play around with my color wheel up here and drag green into this area here. Let me drag this out to make it wider so I get all colors of green in, in there. I'll drag this and maybe drag it over to the blue more. All right, so that's another place to go to try to get the green out of your picture. If I go this way on my color wheel, it's too much blue and I'll take out the color blue and the slide over here and I'll take out the blue of the water. So I want to make sure I stay within the bounds of green and it's okay in this case to go a little bit into the yellow. So I play with this. Okay. Another thing I want to do is I want to play around with my saturation. Usually saturation has a lot to do with skin tone, but notice when I bring that up higher into the lighter areas, it takes out more of the picture. I might want to just play it. There's no right way to do this. It's really just an art. Once you do it enough, you kind of get used to it. That doesn't look too bad. That's go back a little bit that way. You see how it's going in and out of green over here in my canvas. Another thing I'll do is I'll drag out my Luma and I'll play with that. That's your uh, brightness and your darkness. So let's see what that does when I play with that a little bit. What happens when I come all the way down to the light area? Get add more green. So I'm going to keep going back. All right. So this is uh, another way you can play. So now I can play around with this. Now that I've played with my Luma, go back this way. That did pretty well. Going that way. You want to make sure you don't take out any parts of the bunny. And I can just keep playing with this. That, see, that's too much. I took out parts of the bunny. So you just got to keep playing with it until you get it right. Again, it, it, I want to bring that back. You see what it's doing every time I play it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just having patience until you get it right. 
as you do it more often, you'll learn the tricks of what works. You can play around with the edge thinning so that you can clean up the edges when you start to see thin green lines over here. So I can play with my edging a little bit. I can make my edging a little bit softer. I can try to enhance the edges a little bit, like when I'm working with fine hair. And so the, obviously this is not, I would, I'm not done because you can still see green around the picture. But that's the concept. That's how you do green screen. You, you pretty much just put the chroma key filter onto your video clip and you just keep playing with your choices up here until, oh, that looked pretty good. I got into the blues and all of a sudden it looks pretty not bad. I'd like to play a few, but it'll probably freeze up on me. So let's see. If I hit play, what happens? Yeah, sure. You see what happens? Okay. So uh, that's all for now. And then, uh, you know, I could turn around and I can just resize this picture. The green is out of it. It's an easy picture. If you were working with something with more detail, you know, you might want to put it here. You might want to put it here. You might want to add uh, some kind of a key framing. Remember from our previous videos, that's your diamond tool over here. I can put a key frame in right here. And I can have her come down here, move it over to here. And that's where she ends. And I can put another keyframe, and if I go back and I play that, uh, again, I'll freeze with that rendering, you'll see her zipping down the slide. Uh, it's, it's not something you would really do, it's cutesy, but that's how you do your green screen. You go into effects, you go into filters, you go into key, chroma key, and pretty much it's just playing with these menu choices. So, give it a try on some of your sample footage. That's all for now.